Good morning. My name is Kathy Hawkins, and I am a member of the Good Shepherd uh, Morning Prayer Team. And today is Tuesday, July 25th, 2023. We will have a wonderful morning prayer this morning. If you would like to look at it later, please do not hesitate to check Facebook or uh, our other options. And we uh, are happy to have those who are here. Wendy is now joining us, which is even greater. Today is the Feast of St. James Bar Zebedee. And people and places uh, said that St. James was one of the disciples of Jesus. He was the son of Zebedee and Salome, Salome and brother of John the Evangelist. He is called St. James the Greater to Distinguish. Mark is, it, it, that's how he's changed from the, Mark not the Greater, or James not the Greater, uh, who was uh, Alphe Alpheus. James is described as one of the first disciples who joined Jesus. The Synoptic Gospels tell that James and John were with their father by the seashore when Jesus called them to begin traveling. According to Mark, James and John were called Orangeries, and I'm not sure I'm saying that exactly right, or, and I like this, Sons of Thunder, uh, Acts of the Apostle, Acts of the Apostle, and uh, records that King Herod had James executed by sword. He was likely the first of the apostles martyred for his faith. And this morning, we will note him when we reach uh, our colleagues for the day. There are a number, excuse me, a number of articles um, about St. James. Uh, if you would like to learn more, it's kind of fun to see the do our colleagues each day. Now, we give thanks to the Father who has made us worthy to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, what we have done and what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord is glorious in his saints. Come, let us adore him. Our invitatory psalm this morning is the Venati, in which we will all say together. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. Our Lord is the great God and a great king above all gods. For in his hands are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The Lord is glorious in his saints. Come, let us adore him. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 7, verses 1 through 10, which we will say together. O Lord, my God, I take refuge in you. 
Save and deliver me from all who pursue me. Lest like a lion they tear me in pieces and snatch me away with none to deliver me. O Lord my God, if I have done these things, if there is any wickedness in my hands, if I have repaid my friend with evil or plundered him without cause is my and plundered him who without cause is my enemy, then let my enemy pursue and overtake me. Trample my life into the ground and lay my honor in the dust. Stand up, O Lord, in your wrath. Raise up the fury of my enemies. Awake, O my God, decree justice. Let the assembly of the peoples gather round you. Be seated on your lofty throne, O Most High. O Lord, judge the nations. Give judgment for me according to my righteousness, O Lord, and according to my innocence, O Most High. Let the malice of the wicked come to an end, but establish the righteous, for you test the mind and heart, O righteous God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our first lesson this morning is from Jeremiah, chapter 45, verses 1 through 5. The word that the prophet Jeremiah spoke to Barnak, son of Neriah, when he wrote these words in the scroll at the dedication of Jeremiah in the fourth year of King Jehoiakim, son of Joshua of Judah, thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, to you, O Barak, you said, woe is me. The Lord has added sour to my pain, sorrow to my pain. I am weary with my groaning, and I find no rest. Thus you shall say to him, Thus says the Lord. I am going to break down what I have built and pluck up what I have planted. That is the whole land. And you do and you do you seek great things for yourselves? Do not seek them, for I am going to bring disaster upon all flesh, says the Lord. But I will give you your life as a prize of war in every place to which you may go. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us say together the first song of Isaiah. Surely it is God who saves me. I will trust him and not be afraid. For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense, and he will be my savior. Therefore, you shall draw water with rejoicing from the springs of salvation. And on that day, you shall say, give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his deeds known among the peoples and, and that they remember that his name is exalted. Sing the praises of the Lord, for he has done great things. And this is known in all the world. Cry out, a cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion, ring out your joy. For the great one in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our second lesson this morning is Matthew chapter 20, verses 20 through 28. Then the mother of the sons of Zebedee came to him with her sons, and kneeling before him, she asked a favor of him. And he said to her, What do you want? She said to him, Declare that these two sons of mine will sit, one at your right hand and one at your left, in your kingdom. But Jesus answered, You do not know what you are asking. Are you able to drink the cup that I am about to drink? They said to him, We are able. He said to them, you will indeed drink my cup, but to sit at my right hand and at my left, this is not mine to grant, but it is for those who, for whom it has been prepared by my father. When the ten heard it, they were angry with the two brothers, but Jesus called them to him and said, you know that the rulers of the Gentiles lorded over them and their great ones are tyrants over them. It will not be so among you. But whoever wishes to be great among you must be your servant, and whoever wishes to be the first among you must be your slave, 
just as the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life to a ransom for many. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now let us say together the song of the redeemed. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, grant deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are the ways of righteousness and truth. O king of all ages, who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you. Because you are just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. And now let us say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages A. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the ways of justice and truth. <clears throat> Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Our colleagues this, today begin with the colleague for the Feast of St. James Bardevity. Apostle. O oh, gracious God, we remember before you today your servant and apostle James, first among the twelve to suffer martyrdom for the name of Jesus Christ. And we pray that you will pour out upon the leaders of your church that spirit of self denying service by which alone they may have true authority among your people. Through Jesus Christ our Lord who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A colleague for grace. Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Yeah. A prayer of self-dedication. Almighty and eternal God, so draw our hearts to you, so guide our minds, so fill our imaginations, so control our wills, that we may be woolly years, utterly dedicated to you, and then use us, we pray, as you will. And always to your glory and the welfare of your people. 
through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ, and particularly those throughout the Anglican Communion, remembering today especially the Diocese of West Virginia Episcopal, the Right Reverend Matthew Cowden Bishop. We also pray for our Diocese of Southeast Florida and our Bishop, the Right Reverend Peter Eaton and his wife Kate, and our Companion Diocese, remembering today, especially the Diocese of the Dominican Republic, the Right Reverend Moses Quezada Mota Bishop. And we hope that all of the good little Episcopalians from St. John's Episcopal Church are doing great works for the bishop this morning in the Dominican Republic. A prayer for mission. O oh God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold pour out your bishops, your spirit upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We pray for our own parish family and those dear to them, remembering today, especially Connie, Melissa, Marion, Mar Margaret, Gil, Jim, Fran, Charlie, Carol, Kathy, and Philip. We pray also today for our Connect Ministries, remembering especially good guys and morning glories, that the men and women of Good Shepherd may strengthen their bonds of fellowship and service, and youth group, that our middle and high school aged members may know the fellowship of Christian community. Let us say together the Good Shepherd Parish Prayer. Almighty and everlasting God, Make our parish of Good Shepherd truly a community of prayer and belonging. Raise up in our midst the resources and leadership which will enable us to act upon what you would have us do in this place and in a ministry of love and concern for others. Open my mind and heart to discern what you would have me do through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. At this time, we invite your prayers of petition, intercession, and thanksgiving, either shared with all or held in the silence of your heart. Good, dear, good Lord, I am so very thankful for our morning prayer group that we can all be together and share together in our love of, of God and being together to, to do this wonderful work. Thank you, dear Lord. And Ian asks that we pray for safe travel for Beth and Monty tomorrow as they fly back after spending many weeks in Florida caring for their daughter, Christy, and pray for continued recovery for Christy. And oh my, we certainly do that and hope that... Uh, the con continued good health. It is um, something which we pray for and are so very thankful. We do appreciate, dear Lord, all of the good works that you do for us. Please help us to know and to do your will each day. We ask this in your name. Amen. Now let us say together our general thanksgiving. Accept, O oh Lord, our thanks and praise for all that you have done for us. We thank you for the splendor of the whole creation, for the beauty of the world, for the wonder of life, and for the mystery of love. We thank you for the blessings of family and friends and for the loving care which surrounds us on every side. We thank you for setting us at tasks which demand our best efforts and for leading us to accomplishments which satisfy and delight us. We thank you also for those disappointments and failures that lead us to acknowledge our dependence on you alone. Above all, we thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, for the truth of his word and for the example of his life, for his steadfast obedience by which he overcame temptation, for his dying through which he overcame death, 
Hmm. And for his rising to life again, in which we raise to the life of your kingdom. Grant us the gift of your spirit, that we may know Christ and make him known. And through him, at all times and in all places, may give thanks to you and in all things. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. And I wish all of you a wonderful day. I'm hoping that uh, Pam has a very safe and wonderful trip and we will be praying for Bob's understanding. We just are so thankful for each other, dear Lord. Thank you for allowing us this day. We'll see everyone again on next Tuesday. So thanks for being here. Have a great day.